Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Wondering to Work. So this is episode two, and I'm um, backing out of my driveway right now. So I thought I would talk about something I heard that was interesting. Uh, I read a lot of interesting things. And um, there's this great website. You have to pardon the name, but it's called Kick-Ass Facts. Uh, it's a great website. It's one of my favorites. I go there every day and just uh, get the, um, well, I get the Kick-Ass Facts, right, for the day. And um, so the other day I was... I actually posted this on the site. I was reading something about uh, trees. And they tried to grow these trees in a biosphere. And it was a perfect environment. Everything, the soil was perfect, the air was perfect, the bright amount of oxygen and nitrogen, and the amount of sunlight was perfect, the heat was perfect, everything was perfect. Uh, and they, um, they grew the trees up, and then they couldn't figure out why, but the trees were falling over. The trees kept falling over. Um, and they couldn't figure out why. And eventually they figured out that the one thing that was missing, the soil was perfect, everything was perfect was wind. And the trees needed wind because the wind would put stress on the trees. And then the trees would uh, get strong from the from the wind. So what was happening is that they were like too safe. They were in this too safe environment. They, they weren't being stressed out by the by the wind. And they ended up getting weak and falling over. So you could probably figure out where I'm going with this. Uh, there's stress is difficult. You know, we all get stressed. I get stressed. You get stressed. Everybody gets... I don't like stress. You don't like stress. But there's this great um, video I saw. Kelly McGonigal, I think her name is. And I'll link it in the in description if I remember once I get to work. Or after work. I don't know. I'll put it in when I put it in. Uh, and she has this great TED Talk about how stress... How you see stress um, actually determines how the stress operates on your body. For instance... <laughs> they did this study where, you know, they, they took 100 people and 50 of them said that stress was a bad thing and 50 of them said that stress was a good thing. And then they tested their vital signs a few months later and I guess they followed them through life. I don't know. You have to watch your TED Talk. But uh, the people that saw stress as a bad thing actually got sicker quicker and longer and more severely than the people that didn't. In fact, that there was all sorts of uh, different... Um, all sorts of different problems that were associated with with thinking that stress was a bad thing. One was I think their arteries constricted and all sorts of bad things happened because you know, their blood pressure went up. And the people that saw stress as a positive thing actually either stayed the same or even got better. And the the point of what I'm trying to say here is is that stress is not necessarily a bad thing. Now I don't like stress, you don't like stress, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Like let me give you for instance. I need stress. I need stress and you need stress and we all do it because like I love beach vacations. Uh, you know, it's August as I as I film this and I'm driving to work and you know, I love beach vacations. I love sitting on the beach. I love, you know, listening to the waves. But how many days of that can I actually take? Uh, my, the, I actually know the answer. The answer is five uh, because you start getting bored after a while. You can, you can stay on the beach for a while, but I mean, it's like after five days, it's like, okay, I can't eat any more French fries. You know, I can't, I can't sit here for any long. I can't listen to the same songs again and again. You know, it's, I have to do something. And that urge to do something is your, your body's uh, necessity for stress that we have to, we're kind of like those trees that if we don't have enough like pressure and if we don't have enough challenge, then we just get weak and we fall over. So the, the stress is where the growth happens. I think that's a really important point. The stress is where the growth happens. Um, I'm running into some traffic here, so bear with me, friends, because I'm wondering to work. Uh, I have to be safe first, right? So st stress is actually uh, is where the where the growth happens. Uh, think about it. I, and, I, and I heard this in a couple of other talks, and I'm not entirely sure where, but like when you plant, when you put a seed in the ground, it's stressing out, you know, it's, uh, it's putting down roots, it's fighting the soil, it's doing all sorts of things, but if it wasn't for that stress, it wouldn't have a tree. You know, the same thing for us, and I, I can tell you this, that probably for all of you too, that you know, we've all had very stressful moments. Life is very much more different than I thought it would be when I was five, you know, uh, much more difficult, much more challenging, and, and that's not a bad thing. But I'll tell you that all the bad difficulties that I've had, well, we can't call them bad difficulties, all the difficulties that I've had, all the challenges that I've had, all the struggles that I've had, people dying in my life, you know, life changes, people leaving, people coming and going in my life, you know, the, the, the disappointments and the, all those kind of things, 
you know, I don't like going through them at the time, but I look back and I say to myself, if I hadn't gone through that stuff, would I be, would I be who I am today? No, I'm not saying I'm perfect or I'm done. There's a long, long way to go. But I, you know, I, I do have a lot of skill and a lot of ability uh, and a lot of insight in my own personal life and sometimes in the life of others because I've been through that kind of stuff. Now, that's what makes a good motivational speaker, for instance. You know, you always love to hear a good story. Uh, and again, we all have our stories, as I mentioned in the first episode last week. But uh, uh, we we love stories as people, and, and we love to hear a good story of triumph. That's why we have superhero movies, you know? Again, think about the superhero movie. If, if there wasn't Thanos, if there wasn't, you know, um, the Joker, if there wasn't a, a challenge, a stressor, the movie would be very boring just to seeing Batman sort of being weirdly in his cave, right? Um, I'd actually watch that movie because I think it'd be funny, but you know, that's what it is. So in a sense, you could be grateful for your stress. Now let's go back to the beginning and, and talk about this Kelly McGonigal, I believe her name is, where the way that you view stress is actually really, really important. Uh, and if you can shift your mind, now there's, of course there's bad, there's good stress and bad stress. There's anxiety. There's you know, stress goes to the extreme. I'm, I'm not talking about that. If, if you have issues with anxiety or or that translates into depression or something, get some help, get get some medicine, whatever you need to do, uh, you know, to make things work. Um, but I'm talking about stress. If you, and even those kind of extreme versions of stress, if you can, um, if you can see them for what they are as actually good things, as the tension that builds your life. And, and, and even when you're in the midst of it, and again, nobody likes to be in stress, but again, there has to be a little bit of that challenge, you know, um, or else football games would be boring. You know, there'd be just be guys sitting on the field, like talking to each other. I and mean, that's philosophy class. And even there's tension in that. So if you can see it as a positive, you can somehow reframe it, then it is actually become something that builds you up and not tears you down. Literally. I mean, physiologically, it builds you up and doesn't tear you down, you know? So I just think it's a really important thing for us to understand uh, that sort of thing. So let me know uh, in the comments. You know, you can follow me if you're at this point of the podcast. I'm I'm super happy. You can follow me here uh, at Wondering to Work and Instagram on Twitter on YouTube. I think I'm still Joshua Wagner on YouTube. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, of course. You know, there's a Facebook group or a page. So be happy for you to to follow me and uh, to get these updates and stuff. And um, I enjoy this podcast because it's not a stressor for me. It's actually kind of a release of stress. It's kind of a tension reliever because I can just sort of talk about what I want to talk about. Plus, as I mentioned last week, I love hearing the sound of my own voice. And who doesn't? Except when it's in a recording and you say, do I really sound like that? Uh, Yes, you do really sound like that. So, all right. Well, lots of traffic coming up. I'm going to sign off and take it easy.